Niles, huge. You're the first black live action prince in the Disney universe. What does that feel like? It's amazing um, because I know, you know, growing up, I really didn't get to see that when I was younger. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, in my first experience really with that was seeing Chadwick as Black Panther. And I remember that impact it had on me and how emotional I was leaving the theater. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, so to be able to do that or, you know, hopefully something similar to the impact Chadwick had on me, it's gonna be really good because I think we need to see more of us normalized, you know, being royalty, being, you know, a superhero, stuff like that. How big of an impact did Chadwick have on you? All the beautiful work that he did on and off camera. Is that something that you're going to use to channel, you know, in the years to come in your career? Yeah, I mean, one thing about about Chadwick that really spoke to me was how he he made everybody feel important. Uh, that's something that seems to be a resounding thing when I talk to people, that when they talk to Chadwick, it was like they, be, they were the only person in the room. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've always prided myself on treating everybody like they're equal. Uh, you know, I, I feel like in this industry specifically too, um, you know, people will, will treat people differently based on the level that they're at. Uh, and I've always been anti that. And, you know, not seeing that Chadwick was like that. And not only that, he was very educated in his approach to acting. That's why I'm going to college for uh, for film, because I want to be able to understand behind the camera. And I'll be able to be more of an honest actor uh, with when having an understanding of what directors and stuff and what Anna had to go through to be able to make this film. Royalty by day, hero by night. It sounds pretty dope. The Secret Society of Second Born Royals. What was it like making this movie? Uh, an amazing experience uh, and, and a journey that I feel like we came out the other side, you know, you, you know, better for it. Uh, like we had to train, we had to go over stunts, we had to, you know, go to a new uh, place we'd never been before. Mm -hmm. And you know, doing this together, I feel like it was an amazing journey. I have such faith that this movie is going to be huge and that it's going to catapult you guys to a new level of stardom. Are you ready for that? I'm more ready for the platform and what I can use. Uh, you know, I want to be able to talk more and be more honest and be open about the trials and tribulations because, uh, you know, acting is cool, but you know, it, there's a lot of things that come with it uh, that I feel like aren't talked about, especially when you are a child coming up in this industry. And I really want to talk about that, uh, you know, not just that, but, you know, doing that as a black man, you know, so, you know, I, I'm more ready for that. Like, that's something that I'm, I'm really looking forward to because, you know, it, there's a difference between being viewed at as an actor and then being viewed at as Niles Fitch, who acts, you know, uh, and that's going to be a weird transition. But, you know, I got my family around me and I got Isabella, Folly, Peyton, Olivia, Skylar, you know, all of them. And you know we we're gonna protect each other through all this because uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot like it's it's it is. Where the fairy tale ends is where our story begins. <laughs>